I describe my work as contemporary figurative painting. Got a little bit of a, an edgy storyline behind it. I like to just take cool things out of all different periods and mix them up. My granddad was an amateur artist and my dad has been an art restorer for years. Traditional art has always been in the house that I grew up in. It's been in my life and I always loved drawing, I always loved being creative. But it's obviously left something, you know, guided me in a certain way to the way that I paint. Other outside influences have come into that. Things that I like, like film and music. I like to paint people in there because it adds the narrative into the painting. I work in oil. I've tried all different kinds of mediums. I tried acrylic, watercolour was the first thing I ever painted in. As soon as I started oil painting, I think I did one painting, I just fell in love with it and I just, I don't know, just felt like, you know, this is what I wanted to do. The texture of it and the colour and the tone of oil. I just find you can't beat it with anything else. A lot of my inspiration does come from my own life, the things I love doing, watching films, listening to music. I'll see something while I'm out because I paint people. I very often just randomly see something, be anywhere, and just the way the sunlight catches somebody, or sometimes I'll just see an advert and I'll see the way that they're sat and I think, like, oh, that'd be cool to try that. And because I paint people, there's always inspiration there. You know, there's, there's ideas in front of you in everyday life, constantly. Once I've got the idea in my head of what I want to put down in a painting, I do photo shoots, so I do a photo shoot probably similarly to the way a photographer would with my girlfriend. We go and act out the scene. You know, she's got a rough idea of what I want to want to get, and then we just go and act it out, and we try and be as natural as we can. And then I just let the camera roll because I'm in the, the paintings as well. I just put the camera on the tripod, set it on a, a timer, it's taking a photo about every two or three seconds. You know, come back and you've got you know, thousands of photos. I sort through them all and then pick the ones that I like and mess around with them and. It's rare that I'll get a photo and I think that's exactly what I wanted to, to get. So then I'll do some sketches from it and I'll mess around in Photoshop. I don't try and think of them as photographs as such. I think of them as maybe a little bit of a movie scene and I'm just trying to create that still image, just like that freeze frame in a movie. I describe the characters in my work or more how they are in my head as kind of this Bonnie and Clyde, or star-crossed lovers. You know, he's a bit of a bad boy, maybe. She's a bit of a, a wannabe bad girl. Especially my latest series of the dark paintings. You know, a bit of a, I suppose, an edgy romance. How I would like to think of them, anyway. Art, to me, is, is everything, really, throughout my life, from the, the second I wake up in the morning to the second I go to bed really leave my mind. Art is all, all around me in every aspect of my life. I've just always been drawn to that creative kind of buzz, I think. 